Hey guys and welcome back to another Random Distractions and this one's going to be actually a photography video. So if you haven't checked out my intro I mentioned in addition to like video games and home theater stuff which I've done a couple of videos of before um, and then some of the monkey strength or exercise program that I'm doing including the diet, uh, the bright line eatings. Uh, one of the other things that I've been working on for uh, quite a while now, it's uh, actually over five years uh, is what, what it, where it's at right now on a photography business. Um, and so I kind of thought it might be cool to share maybe the current gear that I'm using um, right now. And as I'm talking, I'll try to put, uh, of course, uh, examples of shots that I've done in the past. So I thought I would start out first with the bag, which <laughs> right now it has all the stuff, so it's kind of heavy, but here it is. Uh, it's a little dirty there, uh, and it's gotten dinged up over the past few months that I've had it, but it's from Endurex. And the one thing that I uh, was drawn to it, it's specifically made for photographers. Uh, there's the back. Uh, it's also a little dirty around there too, right over here. Um, and it has a little thing on the side here, so if you wanted to carry your tripod or, or something like that, it has that there. Uh, but the other cool thing that I like about it is that it has this bag in here. So you pull that out, put that back down, and you have your carrying case for the camera itself. And there it is. And I always have the strap in there uh, just so that I can easily, you know, put it on after I take it out and don't have to worry about trying to put it on or what have you. Um, and actually, I don't ever really zip it because uh, the, the Velcro is good enough to hold it, uh, uh, you know, and since while well, it's in the bag and stuff like that. And that makes it also easier to, to open up once I'm ready to go. Um, so that's the, the bag. And then as far as the camera itself, um, so right now I'm filming on the A7S, uh, which I won uh, for Marcus Pick's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I actually uh, did an open, uh, opening of that item uh, when I won it. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, and But the main camera that I use uh, is this one. It's the uh, Sony A7 III. Um, I started out originally with the Sony a6000 um, and then uh, when that one like it got to the point where it wasn't working correctly anymore like sometimes the lens would not you know register or whatever uh, and so I didn't want to lose anything and I would think uh, by that time uh, I was like well you know I think I'm ready to move up to the next uh, kind of thing uh, although to be honest uh, you you could probably rock it with an a6000 for a very long time if not you know, all the time, but um, I felt like I wanted to go to full frame, and so I decided to go with the a7 III. And currently, what's on here is the Sony 85 uh, 1.8, uh, which I love this lens. It's really great. I've done so many portrait shots with these, uh, with this lens, and, and I absolutely love the way that they turn out. Uh, they just look really good, um, really sharp, even at 1.8. I'll go over the trigger here in a little bit, but yeah, so this is what I have, the Sony a7 III, and the other lens that, well, the, the lens that's currently on the a7S is a 28 millimeter f2, and that's the one that I kind of started off with as well when I got the a7 III. Um, if you saw the video where I talk about when I won the a7S, I actually used that for our church services because uh, we, we stream on Saturdays and, and um, I've been taking my camera uh, due to the pandemic to make it look a little bit better than what they were using before. Sometimes if I'm out or whatever, then I have to take you know the, the lens off and so they're not able to use it. Um, and so I thought it was time for me to um, you know, leave that lens on there and then maybe go to something else. And so not that long ago, I picked up this one, uh, which if you don't recognize it, it's the Sony 20 millimeter uh, 1.8 uh, G lens. Uh, so it's kind of like the, I don't know what you would say, it's like brother <laughs> of what the 85 is. And actually when I saw them uh, together, I was like surprised that like, wow, they're, they're pretty much about the same. Uh, so that's kind of crazy. But um, so I just recently got this one and, and I haven't shot very much with it. I actually got it uh, for a prom uh, event that I was going to be doing. And in addition to shooting like, you know, the couples that were coming in, 
Um, in the, the front, I needed to you know shoot wider spaces, and with the 85, I was not going to be able to do that. And it was on a Saturday when our church is, and so I didn't want to take the other camera either away from them. So I decided to get this one, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. Now, the one thing with this one is uh, I am having to get used to the uh, wideness of it. Uh, especially for uh, photographing people uh, because if you you know if you're not careful you know if you put them on the edges then they get distorted and you know all fun things like that uh, so I'm still kind of getting used to it uh, I have a, a couple of shoots uh, this coming weekend and so I'm gonna see how that turns out with these but uh, from what I uh, was able to get uh, at the prom event they look really good uh, so I'm really happy with this one as well, uh, and I'm sure it's um, it's going to come in handy for for many years. Um, and so I mentioned the trigger. Let me go back to that. Um, so I have a, a Godox uh, trigger on here, the X1T. Um, let's see if I don't focus there. Come on, you can do it. No, it's not going to do it. All right. Well, that's a. I have this because in addition to. The trigger, of course, we have the flash, and I have that in here. It's the Godox AD200. Ugh, I can take it out. Sometimes it gets a little wedged in there, but there's what comes in that bag, but here's the Godox Distro AD200. Speaking about that prom event, uh, since I knew I was gonna have to be taking a couple shots and then have to switch over to, you know, just the event itself, um, I knew that one of them would not work, uh, especially for the size of the event uh, where it was taking place. So I decided to get a second one. Um, and actually, this is my original one. That's the new one right there that I just showed you. Uh, but yeah, it's another Godox 8200. And this thing, has been so good. It, I've used it for uh, a long time now and, uh, and, and I've done many shoots. Uh, I think one for one shoot, I had the bulb uh, on, which um, if you're not familiar with it, it has the Fresnel lens uh, as the default, but you can switch it over to a bulb, uh, which is right here uh, with this head here. And uh, I was doing a shoot and unfortunately uh, it was shooting through an umbrella or a softbox actually, a softbox. And it was a windy day and it fell and, and sure enough it, it broke the bulb. So this is, I actually did have to get a replacement bulb uh, a while back uh, for it. But that's been the, the only thing. Using one uh, has worked for a really long time. Um, and so having the second one, I think, will really help for other uh, types of events or even doing, you know, more things like, because um, mostly I use it for the key light, so I didn't have anything for like the backlight unless I was shooting, you know, in the sun. And I, I do like shooting uh, stuff like that. Um, and then, so kind of going with that, uh, I recently got these little thing, Amazon Basics uh, light stands. They're nothing really to write home about, I guess. They do what they're supposed to. Um, and I just needed them for that, that prom event so that I could both, put both of them up. They, they worked fine. Uh, I tried to shoot not that long ago uh, with them outside and unfortunately the wind just, you know, if, it, if it's any kind of windy, it, they'll start to topple over. So I really need to probably invest in a much better stand uh, than that. I was gonna say, if anybody knows of any like budget stands that they could recommend, that'd be great. But I think for these kind of things, uh, you kind of have to go a little bit higher. The thing that I use to modify the light, because I don't uh, just shoot uh, the, the uh, flash bare, uh, is these newer, newer <laughs> soft boxes. Um, and this is the one that comes with the little pistol handle, I guess, kind of thing. And this is actually the second one uh, that I got, because the one that I got originally, one of the arms would not bend into place. And and it happened like right away. I was like, I, during the first shoot, it just like stopped doing it. So normally they, they're supposed to do that. Uh, but there's one on here. Let's see if I can find it. Of course, it's going to be the last one, probably. Yep, there it is. So this one, no matter what I do, so even if I have that one on, it just keeps popping off. And it's already past the the time limit, I think, 
Um, so I'm not sending it back to Amazon again, but um, let's see. But yeah, so that's that's been the only issue. And and honestly, it's it's fine. If the one doesn't work, it's still enough, uh, big enough where it'll it'll work uh, for it. And kind of uh, the same deal with the the prom thing is because I was gonna have two. I decided to get another one, but the uh, at the time that I was ordering, the one that one uh, was not available. But it said that there was a newer version uh, available uh, that could get get here in time, and so I ordered that. And that one does look different. Uh, it's actually has this kind of style. Uh, I don't know what you would call that, but adapter or, or whatever to to put it on your light stand. Um, and this one actually, I think it feels so much better. Like it's easier to, uh, you know, put it into place. And so far, none of them have <laughs> broken. They've all worked. So that's what that looks like. And it's even simpler to come undone. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know what? I wish I could trade in my other one for this one because this one's really good. Although, uh, since I have two of them, the thing that I've been thinking of is that Godox makes a an adapter to plug both into one light and then it, it has like a Bowens mount and then you can have, uh, there's like an Easy Glow 34 inch uh, softbox uh, that I thought would be a good fit for that. And since I mostly do only shoot, you know, with one light most of the time, and at least that's what I'm used to, um, I thought that might be a good idea. Uh, but again, I, you know, I do have the option too of like shooting front and then backlit, um, so that would be kind of cool too. Of course, like once I got all the pictures done, uh, I have to edit them. And so for that, I've been using for the last couple of years now this uh, Yoga Lenovo Yoga 15-inch uh, C920, I think is the model number. Uh, but it's the one that, of course, you know, flips over, and so you can see that. Um, and it's uh, rocking an Intel i7 and a GTX 1650 uh, for the graphics card, and it's been it's been working really well. The the thing that I like about it too is that it comes with a, a built-in stylus, um, which worked out really well. But they they also uh, I also got a Wacom bamboo stylus. Uh, which is what I use uh, most of the time because that one is kind of small so after a while it's you know it gets a little bit tiring but it's good to ha I, you know have a backup in case if I ran out of batteries on this one and and you know don't have them handy right away and speaking of bamboo so uh, most of the time I try to do stuff on my desktop but uh, when it comes to the photo editing I've been actually doing it now on my bed with my laptop but I was noticing that you know it gets really really hot um, so uh, and it was burning up my lap so I got this lap desk thing oh the stylus fell out here uh, but this lap desk thing um, I don't remember who makes it. It's, it starts with an H, I think. Uh, but it's like padded on the bat on the bottom here. Um, it has a little slot here so the the laptop doesn't slide down, and then it has this little groove where you can put different things in there. Um, and it works out really great. And it has a little thing here where you can where I put the stylus, and that's where I keep that. And of course, a little handle there, um, and that's worked out really, really great too. Um, it's kept my lap a little, a little bit cooler, uh, rather than having that on there. Um, and then uh, I use this. Uh, it's a Samsung T5. Uh, this one's the one terabyte uh, version uh, to download the pictures from the SD cards uh, down to that. And the software that I use in order to edit is kind of a combination. So I use Capture One to do like the initial edits and also the culling or you know checking out which pictures I want to use and stuff like that um, and that does a really great job it's really fast um, can definitely compare it to Lightroom and they make a Sony specific one once I do the, the basics and stuff like that exposure shadows highlights that kind of stuff then I move it over to Photoshop and apply some other things to it and you know do cleanups and stuff like that and, and those are all have all worked well uh, but yeah, so that's basically the stuff that I have for my photography stuff. 
Um, if you have any questions about any of the gear that I show, you know, let me know and, and maybe I can answer them, kind of how I've done with the home theater stuff. Uh, I've tried to answer all, pretty much every question that comes across for, for those. Although I've noticed that for whatever reason, YouTube is not notifying me sometimes of the comments. So I try to like look uh, every once in a while, uh, you know, if there's any new comments and things like that, just in case if I miss something. But um, that's, that's really about it. Um, would definitely appreciate a like, of course, on the video and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, and so you'll be notified when another video drops. Um, and you know, like the title says, random distraction. So this is another random kind of thing and, and thing that I'm into. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, until next time, hope you have a good one.